memory problems and dementia. It can be worrying that it could be an early sign of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Highlight some of the causes of poor memory including dementia. And how to find help if you or someone else is concerned about your memory. Many things can affect our memory, things like stress, depression, grief, even physical illnesses like vitamin deficiencies or infections. We will focus on two specific memory problems, dementia, which comes in many forms including Alzheimer's disease and mild cognitive impairment. Dementia is a general term used to describe a group of conditions that affect memory. It becomes very difficult for you to remember things and you develop other problems with your thinking. It makes it more difficult to adapt to your daily life. These problems are constantly increasing. Or they are growing slowly. They are not a regular part of aging. All of them involve memory loss, but they also have other symptoms which vary according to the cause. Dementia often starts with memory problems, but a person with dementia may also have difficulty. Able to plan and execute daily tasks, able to communicate with others. There may also be changes in their mood, decision making ability, or you may also notice changes in their personality. As dementia progresses, the person with dementia will become more dependent on others for support over time. How common is dementia? This is becoming more common as we age so. By age 62, 100 people will develop dementia. By age 85, about 1 in 5 people will have some degree of dementia. Dementia can occasionally affect younger people and can run in families, although this is rare. Mild cognitive impairment is a less serious problem of memory. It does not interfere with your daily life to a large extent and it is not severe enough to be called dementia. You may feel that you people forget names, locations, passwords, do not put things in the right place, forgetting to do the things you had planned. In people over the age of 65, 1 in 10 of them will develop memory loss problem in any given year. What types of memory loss problem are there? We most commonly found dementia. But a person can sometimes have more than one of these types of dementia. She loses her keys and forgets to give her medicine on time. Although she has been an excellent driver, she now has a dent on her car's bumper which cannot be explained. She has also been unable to turn on the TV with the new remote. At first she attributed all these problems to her age and stress from maintenance. He doesn't feel like he really has a problem with his memory. She gets upset and angry when they are disturbed by her memory. Can learn new things. Cannot remember recent event, appointments or phone message. Cannot remember names of people or places. People may not understand or converse with them don't remember it. They may not understand that there is anything wrong with them, may become angry if anyone tries to help them. These difficulties will make it harder for them to stick with normal daily routines. Alzheimer's accounts for about 6 out of 10 cases of dementia.6. It usually starts with memory problems and gradually gets worse over time. People will often feel that they cannot remember recent events even though they can still remember what happened years ago. They will often find that they have difficulty remembering certain words and naming objects. Often they are not aware of their memory problems but others notice them. It can also be difficult for a person with dementia to know that they people who know someone with Alzheimer's will notice a difference in their personality. They have now reacted in a new way to the actions at the first target. They have become ill. In Alzheimer's, amyloid and tau build up in the brain called plaques and tangles. These brain messages are disrupted and affect substances in the brain that carry messages from one cell to another, particularly a substance called thyroxine. He is forgetting things and cannot focus on things like before. His mood swings, he can easily become irritable and angry, but at other times he often bursts into tears for no reason. 
it is becoming difficult for him to coordinate things and he has defecated in his clothes which he is very embarrassed about. Of his recent memory problems, an MRI scan of the brain showed signs of multiple mini strokes. This is due to the limited blood supply to the brain due to the affected arteries. This means that the parts of the brain do not get enough oxygen and nutrients and therefore the brain cells die. Vascular dementia includes related to stroke where an artery in the brain is suddenly blocked by a blood clot. Subcortical dementia, a type of dementia that affects the lower part of the brain where blood flow is restricted to very small arteries. If you have one of these conditions that cause the arteries to clog, you are more likely to develop vascular dementia. These include high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol and of course smoking. Which part of the mind is affected? These may include the following. Experiencing memory loss and difficulty concentrating. Speech difficulties such as in Alzheimer's. Mood swings or depression physical problems such as difficulty in walking or not being able to control urine etc. I have dementia memory loss problem, how can I help other people? This is caused by the formation of Lewy bodies in the brain. Difficulty fluctuations in memory problems in planning tasks that vary throughout the day. Difficulty seeing people or property excessive movements in dreams such as hand tremors, spasms, falling or difficulty walking. Frontotemporal dementia, this type of memory loss problem usually occurs young. It affects the front of the brain more than the other. It usually starts in the form of 52 and 63. This leads to changes in personality and behavior and more problems in communication. Memory is not affected for a long time. Attitude a person who is usually very gentle and nice is often rude or rude or often ceases to care about his appearance. Semantic difficulty in multilingualism and critical symbolic truth recall in progressive non-fluent aphasia word pronunciation and impaired speakers who is at risk for dementia. Any of us can develop dementia but it is not a natural or inevitable consequence of aging. Certain medical conditions can cause more of this. These include stroke and heart disease, high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels Muslim mellitus. It's important to talk about them especially high blood pressure and try to treat and manage it. It can also help combat midlife loss, obesity, stress and depression. Lifestyle factors that may predispose to types of dementia. Smoking, drinking more than the safe limit of alcohol more than 14 units per week, poor diet, low physical activity. Repeated heavy head injuries such as in boxers. Stop smoking, stop drinking increased exercise in a healthy paradigm. A balanced diet e.g. the Mediterranean diet is particularly recommended. Especially if these changes occur in your 40s and 50s. Genes also play a role in dementia. Alzheimer's disease is usually not caused by a genetic defect after age 65. But not enough to see many genes or to reduce them. If you have a doctor with dementia it doesn't mean you will have memory loss problems and there is no test yet that can offer to tell you about it. In some families, early dementia is more common. So there appears to be a strong genetic cause. In addition, people with dementia have higher rates of memory loss problem. If more than one person in your family has dementia before age 65, it might be worth picking up from a medical geneticist in vascular dementia can prescribe medication if you have high blood pressure high cholesterol or diabetes stopping smoking eating healthy and exercising regularly are also helpful vitamins B and E fatty acids including fish oil and complex dietary supplements are generally not recommended to reduce the risk of dementia but if there is a vitamin deficiency they can treat it give advice. A psychotherapy called group cognitive stimulation using group games to stimulate thinking skills 
can help memory and improve a person's quality of life. Memory therapy involves discussing past activities, events and experiences with another person or group of people. This can help with both understanding and knowledge cognition and help reduce stress on caregivers. The rate of progression of dementia is highly variable. People can live active, productive and meaningful lives for many years after a diagnosis of dementia memory loss problems. There is a lot of research going on in the UK and around the world into the causes and treatments of dementia memory loss problem. There are currently three major research networks operating in the UK. If you want to get useful information, stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for watching.